Hey there, welcome back to the vlog. So, if you've been paying attention, you may have realised that for the past couple of weeks, I have not been around. I had a bit of a catastrophic technological failure, and so basically what I had to do was stop everything on the vlog whilst I tried to work out how to recover the problem that I had. So, this all started probably in February when I had an old Western Digital hard drive that was a one terabyte hard drive and I basically filled it up. So I thought to myself, okay, that drive was an old drive. I will go get a modern uh, Seagate four terabyte drive. So I migrated everything over to the Seagate drive and left it for a couple of months. Everything seemed fine. So in early April, I decided, okay, you know what, it's time to format the old drive, I will reuse it for some some other project, whatever, and everything will now sit on the 4 terabyte new drive. So I ended up in a situation where I've got probably, I don't know, one and a half terabytes of data that I need to move from home to the office, and... I didn't really have anywhere to put it other than on this four terabyte drive, which was handily sitting around with about, you know, two and 2.7 gigs of free space. So I put everything on there, take it to work. And when I get to the office, I plug everything in. And all I've got is the click, 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 which is the click of death. Basically, it means that something has gone horribly wrong with the hard drive during transit. And yeah, like it's not normally a good sound to hear coming from a hard drive. Now, obviously, you can do uh, data recovery. And, you know, I, I've known data recovery experts and stuff. And even with some of the, um, you know, reductions that they would give me like a friend or family fee, it's still going to work out to be several hundred dollars plus the cost of the hard drive. Which, you know, I'm not going to pay out for unless I've exhausted all other options. And this is then leading to a problem where it's like, okay, I've got all this data sitting on the hard drive. All of my vlogging uh, uh, stuff is also on the hard drive. All of the old FCPX files are on there. The music's on there. The uh, intros, all, like, all the little special effects that I have, like, you know, this little thing. And so... Yeah, I, I basically didn't want to touch that drive or do anything else until I knew exactly what I was dealing with from a data standpoint. As I said, I had got a backup from previously, but the trouble was now I'd also added to it as well. So, you know, it, it was basically turning into a, an issue. So, fast forward to uh, this week. I finally have now a way to recover the data. And luckily it turned out that, um, you know, if you try to use a different computer, sometimes you will get a different result with the hard drive. So what was happening on a different computer that I tried, another MacBook, that one, it could see that there was a partition on there, which means the drive was responding and was reading something off the partition table to tell the computer that there was even a partition on the drive, which was way more than I was getting on the other computers. And then having finally got to that point, then it was a case of like, okay, try using software tools such as disk drill which is ultimately what ended up managing to recover the data but yeah you know, i basically had to walk very very slowly through the process of recovering all of the data and getting it back to a point where i know that okay i can now just like totally trash that four terabyte hard drive uh, i don't think i'll trust it again for the vlog data but what I may do is, you know, because my TV has a USB um, hole in the back of it. Hole? What am I saying? A USB port. Because my TV has a USB port in the back of it, what I could do is put some of the old uh, stuff on there that I've digitized. And, you know, that way it's available directly on the TV. It's a bit overkill to put a 4 terabyte drive on there. Like, I'd rather put stuff on there that... I'm not going to worry about if it gets lost because I can always go back to the DVDs and just re-rip it again. So, you know, that's not a problem. But uh, as far as the vlog goes, it's like, yeah, I've managed to recover all of my footage and everything else that uh, was on the hard drive. And now it means I've got to also go out and buy another hard drive because I am literally running out of hard disk space again. I've spread everything across multiple drives that I have left over. 
But uh, yeah, I now need to go and buy another hard drive, which then leads to the question about whether or not I get another four terabyte hard drive, because this is the first time I've had one of that density. And I do wonder if because the platters are more tightly packed together and, you know, just basically everything about the drive is a hell of a lot cheaper than it used to be. Um, I do wonder if sometimes there's been a compromise in reliability there and maybe that's what was leading to the problems that I was seeing. I don't think it's something specific to Seagate, but as I said, like I, I, I need to get another drive. I don't think I'm going to go for the four terabyte one again. I think I will go for a two terabyte one. I mean, they're $80. They're, they're rather cheap and I can use that. Now, of course, I did wonder at this point, is it finally feasible that I can put everything in the cloud? I mean, at this point, I could upload everything to the uh, Amazon S3, which is the uh, simple storage system. And basically, it's a hard drive in the cloud. The price of doing that was going to work out somewhere in the order of $17 a month with the amount of data I have at the moment, not including what I was going to add to it. So basically at that point, after four months or five months rather, I've basically bought another hard drive. <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, there's there swings and roundabouts. Yes, hard drives can get lost. They can get burnt if the apartment building burns down or something. But having said that, this isn't data that I'm really, really worried about. It's not like it's photographs or anything like that. And if the worst comes to the worst, I can just download everything that I've already done previously from YouTube. But I'd rather not do that. So, yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Now, the lesson in all of this is that, uh, yeah, just because the drive appears to have failed, it's not necessarily failed, failed. It's maybe misbehaving, which is what I think's happened here because the data was ultimately recoverable just using software. All I had to do was plug it into a totally different computer than the drive had ever seen before and all of a sudden things sort of magically work. So I don't know if there's something going on in the firmware or what's going on there. But anyway, long story short, I've got the data back and I didn't have to pay for anything else. And uh, yeah, like it was free. So that's really what happened. That's why this vlog sort of took three weeks to come out because I was doing another vlog and I guess that one's going to come out now next week, um, which also was a failure of some type. But uh, I, I'll get down into the technicalities of that one uh, later. But uh, yeah, that, that's what happened here. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. If you like these, thumbs up. If you don't like them, thumbs down. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I will speak to you soon.